Hello everybody. So, uh, I'll be just presenting a very brief introduction to the clicker. After that, my team will be uh, showing you uh, how to install the clicker software on the remote uh, servers, which has been already given, but just a brief introduction to everybody again. So, uh, basically, what is the normal uh, classroom scenario? So, teacher comes, teaches on the blackboard. So, there is not much interaction with all the students. So, uh, assignments are sub given, collection and corrections of the assignments, entering the marks manually and all this thing was, was supposed to be done. So, during this process some mistakes happens and more headaches for the teachers was there. So, what is a clicker or a student's response system which is also called as audience response system or classroom voting system. It is a small handle device which was uh, given to all the students and students uh, question is displayed on the uh, screen and students respond to it. The famous example is uh, uh, Khan Banega Karodpati. So, how does it work? It allows the students to participate in any quiz session conducted by faculty and submitted response within the minutes. So, during this uh, session the teacher can judge whether the classroom have understood the questions uh, or the topic properly or not. We have conducted a similar kind of quizzes in IIT Bombay and we have seen a very drastic changes. For example, uh, uh, we have conducted a quiz uh, session for one hour, uh, sorry half an hour and after half an hour we have conducted a quiz. Uh, Professor Fatak has conducted a quiz uh, in that uh, thing what we have observed ki 60 percent of the people have given the answers properly. So, teacher initially immediately tells ki discuss among the students and the same question is flashed again. So, uh, after that session we have seen almost around 90 percent of the students have given the right answer. Okay. So, be between the group discussions also among the students so you can see there is a lot of ch uh, changes occurs. So, advantage of using clicker assignments and gradings and reporting are provided immediately, modification virtual, uh, modify revisions for the teaching, general classroom discussion, okay, evaluation. So, one more thing what we have seen uh, is, is if a size student is attending the class, so major time the raise hand function, teacher does not understand whether the question has been raised or not. So, this thing is also uh, uh, get clarified within using the clickers. Thing. Data driven. So, this voting system basically for this. So, individually uh, uh, anonymous votings can be done uh, for a particular topics or anything like that. Anonymous also we can do it. So, it started almost uh, in 2008 in IRI Bombay. So, we have released the clicker version 1 and version 2. So, this was the initial version 1 which was only options for A, B, C, D. So, this was the clicker I think most of the people have used it at the remote centers. So, we came up with a second version which was a having a display on it, two line display. So, in which multiple answers numeric with decimals, true, false, yes, no, raise and all these features were enabled. So, student can actually see on the display whether the questions have been uh, question number and which option he is pressing and whether the uh, answer I reached or not. In version 3, so it was a tablet based version which came. So, web based uh, distributed architecture was implemented. So, use of Akash and Wi-Fi network for the communication. So, this is a basic uh, uh, scenario where uh, in a classroom it the system works. So, instructor is connected to the server, okay. That server in flex uh, give the display, okay. And from the whatever question is displayed, the same question is displayed on each and every tablets. 
So, after the time frame whatever is defined for the particular quiz is 30 seconds, 60 seconds whatever is there, automatically the responses are collected by the server and immediately the graphs are shown. So, this is a simple scenario where a classroom is going to work. So, this is a remote center. Uh, the IIT Bombay is there and for example, I have just given remote center 1 and remote center 2. So, there are almost 250 remote centers. So, each remote center we have given the software which has to be installed on each and every remote center PCs. So, that PC is connected through Wi-Fi to the tablets. The IIT Bombay, from IIT Bombay the quiz will be launched. The quiz will be reflected with the timestamps and everything uh, to each and every tablets. After that, suppose at remote center 1 there are almost around uh, 80 participants. The 80 participants response are collected by the remote center server, make it as a one file and it is given to IIT Bombay. We have given the distributed because example 15,000 student tablets directly connected to IIT Bombay will be a very bit difficult. So, we have distributed for 250 and one small file which is just uh, exported to IIT Bombay site and the uh, results are generated. So, my colleagues will now explain you for the remote center server, how, what are the different uh, 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 installation process are required for it, okay. Thanks a lot.